I wanted to go over some of the uh, tools of the trade that we've discussed in our lecture, but many of these tools are used in multiple lectures, beginning with the multimeter. And you might need a lot of other tools or different tools based on your own personal preference, such as wire strippers or electrical tape or small kits that have a number of different uh, tips and tools. So each of these are different or independent based on the individual and how large your operation is and what you want to do day to day. So don't forget things like your ESD strap and your PPE as well, because I consider those tools. Um, I always keep my multimeter in with me. I sometimes take two or three different ones as far as brand and manufacturer and capability. We discussed these in our safety chapter somewhat in our voltage chapter. I keep some batteries handy as far as a AAA and double A's and some nine volt batteries because uh, you're no good out in the field if you don't have a meter to tell you whether uh, electricity is working or not. I've got some common hand tools. I'll show you these here. And it just really depends on your application. You know, you might have a number of smaller tools that you're using uh, just to clean up some PCs and work on some PCs and things like that. Or you might be in some areas where you're actually going to do uh, a bit of wire stripping and work on network equipment and things like that. So you might need some uh, larger uh, quarter inch or 5 16 diameter nut heads. But uh, basically, I've got your, your needle nose pliers and I've got different uh, wire cutters here and I've got some wire strippers. Um, that, are, that are common to what you're going to use every day in the field. I've got a couple of multifunction tools that I keep. This one I just uh, keep in there because uh, in, my, in my kit because I can put different tips in here. I can keep some uh, longer uh, screw tips in here and then you can open this. This will actually uh, cut wire and then I can strip wires too. So for me if I've got one tool in my back pocket that I can insert uh, screws with, cut wire and connect it, this comes in pretty handy. So you'll find a lot of tools that you like over time and you just really have to develop uh, what you specifically like to have in your toolbox. It depends on how many things you want to take around. I keep a number of uh, lighter kits uh, for smaller work and then if I have a contract for larger work, uh, I take some, uh, some bigger tools. So let me set these aside for you. I wanted to show you just some of the common screw tips and I talked about uh, a number of different types. I keep a DeWalt drill handy, uh, 18 volt just because uh, you could spend all day working with a lot of different uh, screws. Um, this is just a common screwdriver here, and I like it because it has different tips in. I can pull these out and switch these up and place this back down here. So that's easy, ready to go, just a simple screwdriver. It keeps more tips in the handle. I can unscrew those and just keep anything I need in there. Keep a number of uh, different uh, tips handy. I can wear this on, on my belt, so that works out good for me. Doesn't matter what brand you've got, just that you've got the tool with you. I've got some uh, smaller applications. Show you some tools that I have. And you'll need something small, just a small kit you can work on uh, PCs with and you can work on laptops. Any kind of uh, equipment that you're going to work on for your clients, either in the shop or on the go. It's a little more complicated, I think, packing to go on the go because you don't know uh, what to carry with you, what you're going to need. and. Oftentimes you carry a little bit much or, or not enough. So good thing to always have uh, extra tools in the truck. I like this one. It's just easy to uh, maneuver. Really points up here and I can see the uh, tips on each tip a little bit easier and faster for me to for me to work with. I've got a couple other different devices in here. I like uh, the fact that I can get with some small smaller tools. I've got some needle nose so I can grasp uh, really small pieces or wires if I need to hold those. Uh, different suction tips if I'm working with screens. Uh, different connecting devices here make it a little bit easier for for our work so simply open this up insert take one of these tips put it in there it's good to go I've got a little Cisco router here and voila there I go I've got these screws out so just get whatever's handy lightweight and ergonomic uh, in nature for yourself I talk, I'm going to talk a little bit about screws here in a minute, but make sure that you've got exactly what you need to work on a job. Got a laptop computer here. Same thing. Uh, you never know what kind of screw tips or types that you're going to have depending on the brand and the manufacturer. So you're going to need uh, to have a lot of different uh, tips available. That's about everything I would need uh, to manage a computer. You've got some other things you might need if you're working on a computer to get them open. So got a number of different types of uh, crackers that can pull things open uh, because you don't know where you're going to be at or 
what you're going to be working with. So you can see I can easily go up and down and maneuver this computer. Let's get that over a little bit better so you can see it. You can see I'm going up and down through this groove and I can open this computer as I need it. Just simply twisting here and I've got some other tools that will help me uh, just simply open these up. So you don't want to cut your fingers and you don't want to have any difficulty working with uh, specific equipment. So any number of these tools here will help me manage what I need to in the uh, laptop. Now we talked a little bit about screw heads and there's quite a few different uh, types of those. I talked in one of our lectures about having whatever type of containers you want to put screws into. I'm gonna grab this one just as a pointer. But as I hold these up uh, closely, you can see you've got a number of different uh, types. This is a flat or a pan head, and then I've got some round head and even some hex head. So they're each different uh, in shape. This one's got a hex head. This one is a pan head. And these are more flat, very flat heads. So they can come out of a number of different devices. It's going to depend on what you're going to do. Some of the uh, hard drives typically have like a 632nd and then some of the cable plates will have different sizes and you might even have self-tapping screws uh, that go in for a lot of the fan installation. So you can see these are really tiny screws. So there's a lot of things that you uh, have to keep in mind uh, while you're troubleshooting. You know, you want to make sure you've got the right equipment into place and that you can actually uh, not lose customers' equipment, especially if you're on a job site. So figure out what kind of containers you like. Keep those handy. Keep those available. So you can see I've got about everything I need to work with smaller. Keep your basic things uh, like PPE. I keep those handy with my tools. Got your basic eyeglasses or your goggles. I've got my earplugs available. Most importantly, make sure that you bring your ESD strap. Remember, it's uh, not your equipment, it's your customer's equipment. So make sure you keep that handy. So I keep my uh, basic PPE supplies in handy with all my tools. Just want to remember, get whatever fits your budget, uh, get some quality tools, but make sure that you've always got uh, the, exactly what you need on hand for the job. If you need to borrow it or rent it or things like that, uh, by all means do so, but you'll uh, figure out exactly what you need uh, that'll help you be the best CompTIA A-plus professional based on the tools you need for the job.